Sawadee Krap. It's Tuesday, July 2nd. I'm JP Mistanza, and this is Phuket Extra brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. Today we got some Academy Awards news, some Slow Lores news, and more. But let's start with our top story. Workers will begin this week to excavate the channel linking Naiharn Lake with the sea in order to flush the increasingly stagnant water from the lake. Where Wai Mayor Arun Solos confirmed the news yesterday with the Puka News after local residents last Friday raised the alarm, concerned that the changing color of the water was due to the wastewater treatment plant recently built in the area, but Mayor Arun says the plant has nothing to do with that, explaining that the color change is for natural reasons due to runoff from heavy rains. The excavation of the channel, which is meant to allow water to flow across the beach and into the sea, it will take place at night this week, so as not to create much of a disturbance. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Wildlife officials are in the process of tracking down a man in Kamala who provided a slow lures to a 14-year-old boy to use to solicit cash from tourists to have their photos taken with it at Kata Beach over the weekend. The whole thing began on Sunday night when, acting on a tip that a man had a slow lorse and was charging tourists to take photos with him, they actually found a 14-year-old boy in Caron who was known to police as a slow lorse tout also. He was caught two years ago with a slow lorse and was let go after saying he found it and didn't mean to keep it. They seized the animal from him right then and there two years ago, but on Sunday night, the boy provided information to police saying the tout they were looking for originally was in Kamala and the teen had actually given back the slow lures to the man. Officers warned the boy that if officers caught him a third time, he will be arrested. Now police are looking for a slow lures tout in Kamala. There will be no official memorial service this Friday for the 47 Chinese tourists killed in the Phoenix tour boat disaster one year ago, according to the Phuket governor, saying it's because no one wants one. This Friday, July 5, marks the first anniversary of the Phoenix catastrophe in which the tour boat capsized and sank in a storm squall off Coral Island, southeast of Phuket, and Governor Pakapong Tavipat, in a press release issued today, said, quote, there will be no public event because it's an accident that no one wanted to happen. In the release, he highlighted efforts by Thai authorities to investigate the accident and improve marine safety for tourists in the wake of the disaster, adding that the investigation is now in the hands of Royal Thai Police. The governor lauded the new tourist safety measures, especially at all marine ports, which were enforced after 40 people lost their lives. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Two men are now behind bars after turning themselves over to police following last Thursday's failed sting operation in which a policeman was run over by a car. The incident took place last Thursday night in Suratani province when police attempted to arrest two drug suspects during a failed sting operation and while the two men were getting away, they ran over one of the police officers, killing him at the scene. Their car was later found plunged into a roadside ditch several kilometers away. On Friday, the two men surrendered to police, a 24-year-old and a 28-year-old, and are now facing charges over the incident. All the while, Royal Thai police are donating over 2.5 million baht to the family of the slain officer, Police Senior Sergeant Major Jam Pukrit, who was posthumously promoted to Police Major. A royally sponsored cremation ceremony for the officer has already been held. Thai film editor Lee Chentamatikul has been made a member of the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences, meaning he will be eligible to vote for the Oscars. Lee, a popular editor and film director who's worked on some of the highest grossing Thai films of the past decade and is in high demand with European productions, he is the third Thai to receive the honor following in the footsteps of director Api Chapong Wee Setekul and cinematographer Sayombu Mukdiprom. 
In a move to diversify its voting demographic and placate criticism, it comprises mostly of old white males. The Academy inaugurated 842 new members yesterday, half of them women and 29% people of color. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. If you're watching us on YouTube, click that subscribe button to check out all of our future videos. If you're watching us on Facebook, give us a like on the Phuket News page. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching, and until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket.